Hello, class. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hi, guys. Can you hear me or no? Good evening, teacher. Yes, can hear you. Okay. All right, good. Can you hear me well or, or not really? No, no, no. I hear you very well. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. How are you today? Mm, all good, teacher. Yeah. Mm, uh, a good day. Yes. Mm, okay, good, good. All right. Excellent. Um, How was your day, Sigfrido? I'm busy day, <laughs> but a long day full of activities. But I'm fine, I think. Really? It was a busy day, you said? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Sorry to a hear that. Of tasks, a lot of tasks to complete. So. Oh. Okay. Maybe well, so. I hope um everything is better for tomorrow. Um, I don't think so, but... <laughs> I no? So. Oh, Why not? I think it will be another day like today, so another beautiful day. Oh, incident. really? Uh, okay, well, um, yeah, the good thing is that we're in the middle of the week, right? So do, do you work uh, weekends? Um, not for the moment, but... No? Not for okay. the moment. Okay, good. All right, the, the, that's good. At least you'll be able to rest in two more days. Okay, good. Um, all right, very good, guys. Hello, Mirna. How are you? Hello, good evening. How are you? Good, and you? How are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Um, how was your day today? Um, in the morning, busy day, but in the afternoon, I think that's normal. <laughs> mm, okay, normal so day. in so in the afternoon, it was a, a a good normal day. Yes, in the afternoon, it's more relaxing okay. than in oh. the in the morning. It's more <laughs> busy. Really? Mm -hmm. it, why? Why is that? Because we have to prepare some report and doing some some activity with the team yeah it's more busy during the morning oh, because really? we have a meeting yeah we have a a lot of meeting and and then in the afternoon or evening i can organize other things or organize organize yes mm -hmm. organize and another thing that oh uh, okay okay all right, well, hopefully um, tomorrow will be a better morning than today. <laughs> yeah, but this is a job. This is okay. <laughs> we have yeah. to move all the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all jobs are like, you know, sometimes they're, uh, exactly. they're easy. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's very stressful. You know, sometimes there's lots of things to do. Sometimes not very much. Yeah, changes. movido. How do you say movido? Move, 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 yeah, move. Busy. Day. <laughs> yeah, busy. busy. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it. Yeah, okay. Good, good. So, Juan Carlos, no more rain? <laughs> no, no. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a moon. It's a moon. Ah, okay. Today is a full moon. <laughs> yes. Okay. Definitely. Wow. Yes. I don't know how you do it. Like, a, like uh, every, every day of the of, of the month, it's a full moon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. So what we'll do right now is take attendance. Um. So please open up your microphone when you hear your name. Ana Lorena Lobato. Present teacher. 
Wonderful, thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Alberto. No. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present teacher, Carlos Dominguez. Ah, okay. Welcome. Okay. Um, Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. I see him connected, but I don't know if he's there. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Maybe he's not there. Okay. Eh, Carlos Mauricio Menjibar. Present teacher. Wonderful. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Hmm. Eh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Calix. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Um, Ulises Torres Torres. No, Ulises Torres Torres. Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Eh, Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. José Bernardo López Montes. Present, Miss. Thank you. Uh, José Carlos Arqueta Romero. José Carlos Arqueta Romero. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present miss. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Presentation. Wonderful. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Excellent, thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Rafael Hernández, pero Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Rafael Alexander Serna. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Vigail Boniacano. Present. Present. Ah, there you are. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Andrea. Uh, Sigfrido Ernesto Gomez Quinea. Present. Thank you. Wendy Marisela Ramirez Guevara. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening, Wendy. All right, Wendy, do me a favor, please. Um, can you change your name? So that okay, is teacher. okay. Thank you. Uh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez Torres. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda.
a Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, before we continue. Teacher, I am here. Kevin Lucero is here. Sorry? Kevin Lucero is here. Oh, Present. okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, before we continue, I wanted to mention something important. I was checking the... Um, I was checking the um, platform and I noticed there are some people that have not uh, finished unit three. Okay, section number three, you have not finished. Um, I'm not gonna mention names, but you know who you are. And we only have two more days, two more, that's it, this one, and two more, that's it. Okay, so um, your platform needs to be finished. Listen carefully, needs to be finished um, in, on Friday, Friday at 12 p.m., at 12 a.m., okay? So I, I need that finished because very early Saturday morning, I'm going to, and when I mean early Saturday morning, I'm talking early, like I'm talking about first thing a Saturday morning, I, like before eight o'clock, I will be sending the, the, the report of your, uh, of your platform. So if you are not finished for whatever reason, if you're not finished, uh, I won't be unfortunately able to help you out. I'm gonna send the notes, the grades exactly how they are at that point, okay? So I need everybody to be finished by Friday at 12 o'clock. All right, any questions, any, any problems that we're having? Please tell me so I can help you. If you can tell me ahead of time, I can help you with no problem but I need to know. Guys, any questions, any problems? No. No? Okay, also remember, the other thing that is super important is that you finish the midterm and the final exam. Because even if you do all the sections, section one, two, three, four, but you do not do one of the two, like the, the midterm or the final exam, it, then what's gonna happen is that um, you won't be able to pass because the final exam and the midterm are the ones that have a higher percentage. Okay, so it's really, really important that you do both of those things. Okay, because um, si no, no les va a dar el promedio. Okay, so you could have done everything else, but if you don't do one of the two, if you don't do the midterm or you don't do the final exam, even if you do everything else, you're not going to have enough grades for it. Okay, so please, 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 like I said, Eh, no voy a estar mencionando nombres ahí de, de, de quienes han terminado y quienes no, ustedes ya lo saben, ya saben, um, ya saben si lo hicieron o no lo hicieron, eh, pero sí necesito que todo esté terminado para el viernes antes de la medianoche. Ok, so please, you have today, tomorrow and Friday um, to do it, so two and a half days basically, ok? Any questions? Anything you want to ask me before I continue? Not really, teacher. I'm going to work in the platform. Uh, really, I have a lot of work to do. To to do, but if I have a job when I am. Um, 
completing the mm -hmm. platform, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask asking to you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm here to help. Okay, I'm here to help you. Uh, but I can only help you if you if you ask me um for a specific um thing, I can help you. No problem at all. Like I'm happy to help you. You just have to tell me I teacher, I need help with this. Okay, and then I can help you out. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else? No? Okay, perfect. So in that case, uh, let's uh, move on. We are going to do this. Okay, please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes, I can see it. You can see it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Perfect. So this is something that we were looking at yesterday. These are th uh, three of the, um, the theories that are behind um, management skills, right? So, um, Remember we were talking about how some, so it's how it's important to take into consideration both intrinsic and extrinsic motivations, right? So to be able to do a, a job well, you have to know those two things. What is intrinsic motivation and extrinsic? motivation, right? So um, because we have different incentives and we need to know what would work better for the employees. So um, remember scientific management theory? Um, basically here, we're just assuming that everybody is already motivated and that everybody wants to continue working hard and more effectively, um, and you get paid depending on the um, the quality and amount of work that you do, right? So um, if you do a lot of work, you get paid well. If you don't do very much work, you don't get paid very much, right? So uh, because we, we assume that that you are have already the motivation that you need, right? So we don't need to motivate you. You just have to do it on your own. Then we have the McGregor's theory X and theory Y. Basically, um, this the um, theory X is um, saying, oh, like employees can only be motivated by uh, by a sustainable income. That's the only way we can motivate them through a, a sustainable income. And theory Y is um, the opposite, that it's like um, we don't need to motivate you anything. Um, you don't need to be, you don't need a direct reward. Can you? So, yeah. Um, so it's like basically two opposites, opposite ideas. And then we have theory X, sorry, theory Z, okay, uh, which is that we need to motivate you through a stable employment and uh, the well being of the employee, both inside of the job and outside of the job. Right. So those were the, th the three theories. Any questions about those three theories? Are you sure? Okay. All right, perfect. So what we'll do is the following now. Now that we remember that, let's do this part here. 
You have been assigned the management and leadership of a group of new recruits for a sales department. Their previous manager labeled them as lazy and unmotivated, okay? So you have the same group as, as you, you have the same group as the, the previous manager. Identify the possible needs of the team and create a list of motivational factors that could help them achieve better results. So it's the same team that you had that that the the previous leader management had, but they in their eyes, for them, the group was lazy and unmotivated. So what you want to do, is you're going to uh, identify possible needs of the team. And you're also going to create a list of motivational factors. Okay, do we understand? Okay, yeah. Any questions? Perfect. So what we'll do then is we'll put you guys into breakout rooms. I'll send you guys this. Um, I'll send you guys uh, through the WhatsApp group. Okay. Um, I'll send you the the task. And what I'll do is I'll put you guys into pairs so you can discuss um, what you're going to do. So first, you have to remember, I try to identify what are, um, a, what is the possible needs, and two, create a list of motivational factors. Um, all right, sounds good? Okay, just give me a moment while I send you guys this in WhatsApp. Okay, you should be getting the the image anytime soon. Okay. Um, hmm, it's weird. It's still, it's still um, uploading. Okay, well anyways, it will, it will get arrived soon. It will arrive to you soon. Okay, in the meantime, let me put you guys into breakout rooms. Um, so we're going to put you guys hmm. okay, so I'm just going to make sure that I'm I don't have okay, can you guys turn on your camera if you're gonna be uh, participating. Please turn on, uh, turn on the camera. Yes, that's it. There's only like three people, like, sorry. There's only like. Nine people that are participating. A M Emerson, are you participating? Yes, miss. Okay, is this, I guess there's a problem with the camera. We can't see you very well. Actually, we can't see you at all. I know that 
it looks like you have your camera on, but we just, we see like black. Okay, give me a second and I'll revise what happened. Okay, no problem. Uh, Ana Lorena, will you be able to participate? Good evening, Miss. I'm evening. sorry. I will be connected only as a listener because I'm in a meeting. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Um, just a second. ¿Quién era el que, que me dijo eso? Carlos. Oh, José Carlos. Uh -huh. José Carlos. Ok, just give me a second, guys. I'm trying to... Trying to figure out... Who I'm going to send in what group. Okay, so Jose Salvador. Will you be participating? Yes. Okay, perfect. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Ana Lorena. Ana Lorena. Nelson Alberto. Hello, teacher. Oh, okay. Hello, Ana. Are you going to be participating? In this moment, no, teacher. Maybe uh, after nine. Okay. Because now I have a problem. Okay. Nelson, will you be participating? Yes, teacher. I'm finding my headphone right oh, now. Perfect. Okay. Ricardo? Uh, um, I'm, I don't think I will not participate. Sorry. <laughs> you won't participate? No. Sorry. Okay. Uh, do you have like some situation? Uh, actually, I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. All right. Uh, Mauricio? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, no. yes, yes. I just oh, remembered. Oh, yeah. I have a bit. Yeah, it's okay. No yeah. problem. I got it. Uh, Edwin. Edwin Antonio. Hi, teacher. Hi. Will you participate, Edwin? So I try it, but I have a problem with my connection. Okay. For so... that, I am a listener. Okay. All right, so I'm not going to include you. Um, Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. No, I guess not. Eh, Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos, eh, José Carlos. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. No sé si va a poder participar. Um, go ahead, do it. Yeah? Okay. Okay, just a second. Carlos. José Carlos. Acaba de entrar, ¿verdad, José Carlos? Yes, Miss. I remember I told you that I am in a meeting, but yeah, no, however, it doesn't it's okay. It's okay. Don't no, worry. It's, no, 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 it's okay. It's just that, es que no me aparece en, el, en la opciones, entonces, that, that's why. Okay. Okay, that's why I was asking, that's it. Okay. Did, did you um, pass the attendance today? I did, yes. Okay. 
Um, Jorge Antonio. Jorge Antonio. Also, I think he just came in, Jorge Antonio. No parece la opción. Okay, and Eulice. Yes. Uh, will you be able to participate, Elisa? Yes, I will try it. Okay, wonderful. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to... Okay, so you guys understand the instructions? So remember, first you have to identify what could be um, possible needs of the group. Second, try to identify um, the, the motivational factors that could help the, the group to achieve a better, better, um, to achieve better, what's the word? Um, high, let's say higher level, um, goals okay so let's um open up the group right now Hello, Osman. Hello, teacher. No. Hmm. That's strange. I guess no entrada. Okay, so I'm going to change you so that you have uh, a new partner, okay? Okay, teacher. Hello, guys. Hi, guys. Yep. Hi, teacher. Okay. You guys ready to discuss, to work together? Mm, I, I don't know if yours uh, is there. Uh, definitely, Hosman is there. I don't. I'm not sure about Jorge, but I know Hosman is there. Jorge is listener today. Huh? There he is. Ah, Hos okay. Hey, Hosman and Josman. Hey. Exactly. Nice, nice to see you, Josman. How are you? I'm great. Awesome. <laughs> okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Where? Okay. Uh, the term? Reading the... Sorry? No, no, tell me, tell me. 
Okay, no, no uh, reading the paragraph because the before the last and the the least uh, option and uh, motivate the group. Okay. No reading your paragraph. Okay. 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 Uh, Are you going to read? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have been assigned the management and leadership of a group of new recruit. I don't know how do you say recruit for a sales department. The previous manager labeled them, then as lazy and in unmotivated, unmotivated. Identify the possible needs of the team and create a list of motivation motivation factors that could help them achieve better results. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, okay. In, in the first point is important to identify the situation the the client in, in the job is necessary the um, the identify and review um, and laboral ambient yeah yes laboral ambient and supponer in this case for example the point was uh, um, the situation the the uh, motivated the, the group in the, in the department that uh, uh, okay. for example uh, conditional condition for example uh, uh, day off salary capacitation in the de determinate uh, function in your job sí. uh, i don't know uh, conditional uh, Conditional uh, benefits uh, obligation the company salary vacation uh, Aguinaldo no sé cómo se dice Aguinaldo pero no tú yeah no other benefit no other benefit right in in this case identify is a uh, for example in this moment remember no other position you remember. Um, by the way, uh, Inanda would just be like a bonus. Bonus. Uh, yeah, Christmas. Christmas. or like an, if it specifically would be no. like an end of the year bonus. Right? Uh, end year of the repeat. year, end of the year bonus or like, um, or a Christmas bonus. Christmas? Christmas bonus. bonus. Christmas. Ah, Christmas bonus. Could be ah. a Christmas bonus or an end of the year bonus. Ah, uh, bonus. Christmas, Christmas, okay. Christmas bonus. Yeah, Christmas okay. bonus or end of the year bonus. Yes. Okay. Uh, in my in my opinion, Hosman, I I think uh, similar to, I think. Hi guys, hi Jose Carlos, hi Rafael. Hi Miss. Hi. Um I'm I'm I wasn't sure uh are you guys because both of you are listeners, so I don't know if you guys are both gonna be working together. To be honest with you, not nah, Miss. No. Uh, no, I would be honest. Okay. Rafael? Because I was in a meeting and there is a, a, a lot of music and it sounds sound loud. Okay. There's a lot of noise in where I am actually. Okay. Uh, Rafael? Rafael? Sorry, okay. teacher. I'm working tonight. 
Okay, all right. So I'm just gonna go to another group then. Sounds good. Okay, um, can you open the work to start right? Okay, you need. I got it. The posi be positive in meetings. Graceful is is graceful is uh, agradable. Things that is are. My computer is very slow tonight. Sorry. Okay. Friendly. Friendly. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Friendly. With your members. Okay. You're showing the game. With your team. Uh, vehicles. Sorry. Vehicles. Cars. Vehicles. <laughs> vehicles. <laughs> ah, the tool. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, the maybe car. Um, yeah, the the tools in cell department. I think that is or the. The car, um, mm -hmm. um, I think that the price margins because when you to, when you work in a cell department, you need the you need to know the the margins that you can you can play with the customer maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. And let's see, okay. tools, car. How, how do you plan the incentives? Uh, incentive plans? Plan? Yeah, this is a, a list that motivational factors. Oh. Uh -huh. okay. uh, I, uh, uh, and here, sell plan. Yeah, sell sales plan. What is the meaning? Yes. Uh, el plan de ventas sales plan I think that uh -huh. this is uh -huh. yeah and the and the and you told me that the list that is a uh, what do you say sorry <laughs> what do you say and the <laughs> plan de incentivos oh yeah in then cheap plans. Yeah, you have to to know. Yes. The sales plan. Uh -huh. No, the sales plan. Uh, Tools, car. I'm not remember what more tool do you need in the cell department. Maybe car because if you want to mobile move to the customer, maybe a laptop or um tablet. I don't know. This is a 
or PC mm -hmm. or laptop, I don't know, because if you are in a cell department all the time, you are outside that the plans, you are not in, and you have to move in with the customer, I think. Mm -hmm. And, I think that's, I don't know. Wish more. Um, are you, are you uh, ready? Oh, um, hello, no. teacher. I'm not ready. I'm, 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 we're thinking that this is the, we identify the possibly needed or in a cell department, we are thinking that if, if I work in a cell department, we need a clear goals, the good communication with your team or the manager. Uh, you, you have to know the press margins and uh, you have to, to take the correct tool, like a, it's the pen that they, they, your company, but maybe car, tablet or laptop, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You have to know the sales plan. It's important to know the sales plan or the marketing plans. I don't know. The okay. sales plan. So would you be ready? Would you say that you're ready now? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> would you say that you're ready? They're ready. Would you say that you are ready? I'm so sorry. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Are you yeah, ready? Yeah. Would you say that you are ready? Diría usted que está que ya están listos. Oh. Yes, I think, but I'm not sure because we are discussed with Jose about okay. the, the so needs and then the, the, the list and motivational factor that we are considered that we can do it in a, we can have in a cell department. I okay, think. so you, you need more time then? Yes. Okay. Yes, sure. Okay. Maybe. All right. Maybe two more time. Two minutes. Okay. Or I'm gonna more. go and check the other groups then. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm really thank sorry. Sorry. Oh, no, no, it's okay. I'm just. I just wanted <laughs> to know. Okay. Thank you. Um, are we ready? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, yeah. We were talking about the two specific ideas. Mm -hmm. And the first is the time. And the second idea is uh, improve the relation with the teams. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. Are you ready to check or do you need more time? Uh, no, really, we are ready. We are You're ready. ready. Okay, perfect. I'm. What I'm going to do is I'll go in and uh, check with the other groups to see that uh, they're all ready and we'll return you guys to the main room in okay. a moment, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. You just in any direction and the TV understand what you have to try to do it. So the, that is a best kind of seller than the other one. Because uh, the person has more information for the yeah. for and that they have the information. Uh -huh, and they have the information because they get some trainer. Mm -hmm. So you will notice if the your team maybe need a trainer, just asking them or in the meeting one by one as i said before mm -hmm. um hi guys okay. i just checking are you ready 
Uh, I don't know. What do you think, Ulysses? We are ready. Uh, I believe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can we check? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay, teacher. Get a prices, get a bonus, get better equipment. Hi guys, mm -hmm. are you ready? Uh, kind of. Uh, yes, miss. Yes, I think so. Um, okay, great. Um I'll see you guys in the main room then. Okay. All right, guys, um, can we start with uh, the first group, which is uh, group number one, Rafael Alexander and Jose Carlos. Oh, no, wait a sec, no, no, no. Wait. Sorry, Mesa, I remember I told you that. Yeah, I'm no, 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 yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. It's group number two, Josman Atilio and Osman Enrique. I'm not sure if Jorge Antonio was there too. Okay, uh, uh, Osman, uh, I going, I going to start. Okay, teacher, uh, I was working uh, with Osman. Uh, we we understand the the teams uh, uh, the, of the of the departments the, of the cells uh, are on, on, on motivate. Uh, we we think uh, will be good for the team is uh, the boss or manager uh, give them training in sales sales technical techniques yes sales techniques uh, sales in sales techniques sales yeah, techniques sales, sales yeah. techniques sales techniques yes mm -hmm. sales techniques okay uh, mm -hmm. all, all other action that we that we had have is a motivation training. Uh, I think it's some different, yes, a, a capacitation about motivation, about uh, personal motivation. Yes, I think can be good for, for the team. Okay. Uh, the, the, other, the other action uh, is uh, give them bonus if the team uh, com uh, compliance the the goal. For example, if the team uh, achieve the the goal in the week uh, or, or in the month, uh, we will we'll, we'll find or will we'll, we'll be good if uh, the boss give them, uh, for example, uh, a day off for achieve the the goal. Okay. I don't know, Hosman. If, if you if you get the other, uh, if you want to mention uh, all yeah. other activities. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Important is in the production salary the increment for the worker and order is a uh, this department that is it's important the bonus for for goals menstrual uh, 
uh, a more motivation and complete your result. This is a Okay. Are you are you finished, Postman? Okay. All right. Anything else you want to add, Osman? Osman. Anything else? Is that it? Uh, it is, uh, that's all, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Good. Okay. Good. Good job, guys. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Good. Let's now move on to Emerson and Nelson. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. I'm also going to share the, the screen. Okay. Okay. And this is a, a little list. Yeah, it looks of, like you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, for me, uh, the first is uh, very important. Be positive mm -hmm. in meetings. Uh, in my personally, sorry, personally, um, you need to talk in a positive, positive way with your team to mm -hmm. make a friendly environment when you make uh, the or when you uh, when you achieve this environment with your team all all of the things are easy the communication the word etc Another example, positive is contagi contagious. Um, I, I don't know with the work, the pronunciation contagio contagious. Con contagious. 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 <laughs> sorry. Contagious. Yes. Um, <laughs> sorry. Is it, is it possible to make it a little bit bigger? Oh, um, the Amazon, could you please uh, oh, wait a Never. zoom the page? Give me a second. I th yeah, I think, I, I think we're okay now. I just, I couldn't see the word for contagious. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's okay now. Contagious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, is the, oh, sorry. External motivation can include this the this this desire for promotion. Mm -hmm. It's important because all of the subordinates of the teams, uh, uh, in my case too, we need to improve in the job for grow in the company. I'm not sure is grow the, the word. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's important the promotion because uh, you earn more money. Mm -hmm. uh, another, be direct with your team members. Uh, once the goals have been have been defined, we need to make sure that they are understood. Why? Uh, when you set the goals um, clear. Uh, and realistic goals at uh, the teams and uh, know that the goals are um, could be could be rich but when the goals are uh, surrealistic uh, this situation cause uh, problem stress uh, with the, all of the co-workers and it's a problem that the manager can have the control of this situation. Uh, 
نعمل صح Okay, uh, the following, can we say tips is conduct regular reviews. And, and the thing is very important to have a, a feedback about the progress of each employee and establish if, uh, a code about the, the, process, the progress need for to have a good results in the department for example and the last one is don't push it fallings that means uh, sorry don't push what pushing fallings failure 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 sorry. yeah it's okay it's okay mm -hmm. so No problem. It's necessary in the team to to maintain a, a good behavior. Don't when it's not necessary be pressure for the result and also. Don't have a uh, trying to do the, the things way and, and give the opportunity that the person uh, establish it, the in learning the about the where where is the the moment to ex express your uh, ideas I think. Okay. Is is that it? Uh, I agree. I uh, I I add another. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Uh, for me, be a good listener is a good uh, quality for the leadership. Uh, because it's important to make a trust relationship with your subordinates. All right. Just that. Good. All right. Excellent. Good job, guys. Very good job. Thank you. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's see who's next. Uh, Jose Salvador and Mirna. Hello. Hello. I'm going to share the screen. Right. Uh, we was talking with Salvador about the possible needs that you have to to need in a cell department, and we discuss uh, say that in um, our opinion that we have to know the clearest goals. Uh, we have uh, to to have a. A good communication with your team and your manager also. You have to know the price margins in a sales department and facilitating the essential and necessary tools, maybe example card, you need a car, ta tablet or laptop, is the tools. Have to know the sales plan or marketing plan according that your goals that you have. And the least and motivational factors as a manager, we are thinking, I don't know if you want to, to tell uh, Salvador, <laughs> the second part. Yes. Uh, the least of motivating factor as a manager. First, providing price and feedback. Second, promoting healthy Promote. relationship. G getting bonus and or incentive according to the plan. Establish, establishing good and clear communication 
to rec recognize the effort, reward effort. Only that. Okay. All right, very good. So that's it, guys? Yeah? Okay. All yes, right. teacher, this is the list that we are talking about with Salvador and we try to, okay. to explain. Mm -hmm. Excellent, good job. Very good, Carol. Thank you, Jose Salvador and Mirna. Okay, next. Um, Kevin Alfredo and Wendy. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, we were talking with Wendy about three specific um, points mm -hmm. or three specific factors. Um, time, uh, relations in the team, mm -hmm. and give bonus for the sales. And when we are talking about the time, we are talking about the recognize if the, we need to recognize if the team work ex, extra time on on the work and, and exist uh, la mia extra. I don't know how can I say. The, the extra mile. The extra mile uh, mm -hmm. for each employee we need um if we are the management we need to recognize uh, this extra mile and uh, with the time and when we are talking about the improved relations we we were thinking about the training for the like osman told told us a little bit time ago um training for the sales training sales mm -hmm. training for the team and the the el mismo el mismo training the same training the same training mm -hmm. and needs uh, to have needs to have uh, activities for improve the relation in the team uh, it's a it's a other factor and the other factor is the bonus for sales when we are talking about the sales department it's important <laughs> and recognize if the sales grow on our company, we need to recognize the work with a bonus for the team. I don't know if the if Wendy wants to add some 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 words. Some Wendy. Yes. Yes. Uh, teacher. Uh for factor for teamwork, uh, personal drive to chief decided to improve or comply why certain standards uh, commit to personal or organization objective, uh, commitment to personal objectives, initiative, initiative or willingness to size opportunities. Um, also that company give bonus or incentives, incentives. To, incentives to motivate to motivate employees mm -hmm. um, leadership um, involves in no se company involves involves a line a a group of people to work to work a common goal and ensuring that they have the necessary support 
to a sick if. For example, teacher. Finish. Okay. Okay, very okay. good. Excellent. Good job, guys. Very good. Okay. Uh this is for for everybody. Uh remember that in the word is bonus. Okay. We pronounce it bonus. It's not bonus. Bonus, no. Bonus. Bonus. Okay. Bonus. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Let's continue there uh, with the next group. It would be... Um, Carlos Mauricio and Eulice. And, or... Yes, Eulice. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. Yes, uh, we were talking about a uh, few ideas uh, because we concentrate the, the whole time in, in those ideas. So the first couple is get to know the team. So meeting, because it's important to know what kind of people you have in the in your group. Uh, if uh, currently or in a part in when you are in a sales department, so you need people they can they can sell everything. So if you have people they don't talk, it's a little bit impossible that they can sell anything. So. For that reason, it's important to know what kind of people you have in the in your teammates, in your team. That was the first. And uh, the second one, we were talking about execute one-on-one -on -one session to get to know the team better. Uh, because when the people is in a group, some of people get some child and don't talk anything. But if you are one-on-one. -on -one, so some yeah. people get what did you say? Child, Pena. Oh, shy. Shy. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. No. Uh -huh. uh, some people is shy. So when we are one on one session, they feel free to talk and mm -hmm. they use some information important to, to know what kind of people you have and what can you do for help them. Yeah, because if you help your teammate, or your employee, and you can get better results. And we have other other two more, but um, I want to release it. So to okay. go ahead. With this. Okay. Um, I was thinking. I was thinking about the the. The strategies or, or opportunity for uh, a team and for the team for all the team it's important to have a good boss uh, that uh, the boss try to talk about uh, the strategy or to think in, to think about the strategy strategy for the self strategy and the boss the strategy no no strategy a strategy okay yeah. okay strategy mm -hmm. uh the boss support how they are doing self and during the day and um, and for me it's not important to give a uh, a big uh bonus bonus uh -huh. mm -hmm. bonus motivated of the team it, that is important, but sometimes um, the the boss uh, or the how do you say leader? Leader. Leader. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's important supporting with the uh, with a new strategy. 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 A strategy. Mm -hmm. Or or a new ideas for the self. And, and because the when the teen uh, uh, is twelve, no, 
strides for a goal. Mm -hmm. And it's important to uh, support the team for different situations and when the team sells a good pro product and, and the team get a, a good um, result. Uh, the boss uh, try to give uh, some some good words uh, are excellent um, for the team in my opinion and at the uh, at the end of the day uh, the boss uh, um, give uh, some words uh, for for the team, a hey, team is a uh, excellent for 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 them, and appreciate your uh, your um, effort during the day. In my opinion. Okay. All right. Very good. Is that would that be all? That's it. Okay. I want to add something. Oh, okay. Here. Go ahead. Um, it's important to provide sales training to improve team knowledge and results. Uh, because maybe they they don't have enough knowledge about in the sales, mm -hmm. so some train help them to reach the goals and help them to to get better results. And other one is uh prepared an entertainment table of result to tower effort and meeting so meetings goals. Uh, sorry, could you repeat that? I didn't I didn't understand very well. Uh, prepare an uh -huh. entertainment table of result to reward effort. Oh to regulate okay. uh -huh. and meetings meetings meeting goal. Lograr las metas, meeting goals. Yeah. And because if you don't have um uh, if you don't put in clear what is the goal of the whole teammate mm -hmm. or the whole team, uh, it's impossible to reach it. So if you put some goals clear, they can get some or, or try to get more sales and they put more effort to to reach them and if they know if they reach the the goal, they can get some bonus. It's better for them because not only have the basic salaries, uh, they get more money with the with the bonus. Bonus. Okay, very good. All right. Is that it? That's all, teacher. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. So now um I think there's only one group left. Jose Bernardo and Sigrid Ernesto. Hello. Hello. Huh? Yeah. yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Um we were discussing with Jose uh, about some of the problematics. One could be uh less equipment. I mean people will be with trainees need uh, yeah. to do their job. Another one was about the salary. The salary could be better. Um, is that all? So we, uh, Jose, do you want to add something? Uh, yes, uh, explaining with the incomes. Uh, maybe some people do a lot of jobs that they are charged, uh, overcharged with jobs with some works and they could feel that they uh the pay is less than they deserve. And so uh, do some evaluations to to watch 
the charge of the, the employee has to set a, a salary based on the the things that they do uh with the equipment it could be for example if you do home office or a job that you use computer but your computer is old it could be to update that computer in case you have you are a mechanic or some kind of job that do manual uh, get better tools because it will be simple uh, simply for the employee to do the, the same task with less efforts and could be more efficient too so they will feel the the job more comfortable because they they will feel less uh tired at the end of the day okay. i think that could be the more important to to feel a employee comfortable to make an employee feel comfortable yes okay very good all right is that it or do you need or or do you need more time to complete the ideas is that it? that's it okay perfect yeah, that's it. all right very good guys good job good job very good okay and i think that's it okay so um very good so it's it's very important that we understand that sometimes it's not as simple as sim as saying like oh there somebody is lazy most and what they said lazy and unmotivated right we really have to find out what's the reason behind this right and see what we can do to to motivate right um i mean there are there are times where it's impossible somebody will not be motivated um no matter what you do right because it's not always it's it's not a hundred percent your responsibility for that person to feel motivated they have to also want to be motivated right so it's like it's like a 50 50 right but um but definitely um it's not it's not just about saying oh yeah the person's lazy they're unmotivated and that's it you can't do anything about it you gotta find also um a way a solution right okay all right any questions at this point no no teacher okay um so in that case, um, let's discuss these uh, next questions. Just give me a second. And please tell me if you are able to see my screen. Okay, tell me if you guys can see it. Mm, in my case, no, it's loading. It's still loading? Sorry guys, my computer is like not working, not collaborating today. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. Now you can? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Right. 
sorry guys, I'm just, I'm still having problems. It's like it gets stuck. Okay, so what are some of the most common ways to make employees merits known to their coworkers? Let's talk about the first question. What are some way common ways to make employees merits known to their coworkers? So in other words, for example, just to give an example, because I have, I, I can see him first. Let's say Carlos eh, was a very good employee okay, and I'm the manager. How do I let all of Carlos' um, co-workers know that Carlos is doing a good job? What do you think are the most common ways? Sending an email. Okay, so an, sending an email, good. Another idea? Maybe put in the newsletter or if you have in a company or in a, in a board, wall board maybe. Okay, so newsletter or, bo or bulletin board? Yes, bulletin, yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other common ways? Not, not. We're talking about common ways. We don't necessarily talk about the best ways. Just common ways. In a meeting. In a meeting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Anything else? No, that's it. Maybe in some speaker. Some what? In the speaker. Oh, like a loud speaker. Okay, sure. Why not? Good. Okay. Now, is it effective to recognize employees based merely on tenure? Do you understand what is tenure? Tenure, yes, but the other one, no. Maybe the opposite. What other? Middle. Merely? Uh huh. Merely is know. like only. Only on tenure. No, I don't get it. Sorry. Oh, okay. So it says, is it effective? Um, to recognize employees based only on their tenure. Ah, okay, 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 so, yes, yes. Okay, everybody understands the word tenure? The people that have a lot of time in the company. Yes, exactly. Um. Yeah, so tenure is, yeah, exactly, when you are, Instead of saying old, we don't want to say old, right? So instead we say tenure. So the person, it means that they've been at the company for a very long time. Um, uh, so, it's, so this question, is it effective to recognize a person just because they have tenure, just because they've been at the company for a long time? What do you guys think? In my opinion, teacher, I think that it's effective because the the big company do this this recognize the her their employees based on uh basic um merely in tenure or ten years, fifteen years, twenty years, I think. But I'm not sure that it's, a, it's really effective because what happened with the people who have five or more or less than 10 years because they feel maybe they feel sad or something like that. I think that I'm not sure that this is effective just to recognize that employees, all, all employees, I, I, 
it is in my opinion. I think that you you have to recognize uh, when you beard maybe five years or or less less than ten years also. Right. So many many companies recognize um the employees simply because they are they've been there for a long time which which is good right because that um i mean it's it's a way of recognizing the employees um hardship and dedication to the company so that's good but merely based on tenure like only basing on that that can also be very counterproductive, right? Because then you won't give a chance to the other employees to um, to get recognition because they're like, you know, they, they're gonna think, you know, I'm never going to be able to get recognition if I have to wait to be a tenure, right? Does that make sense? Yes, you can exclude it, the the rest of people just because they don't have enough time in the company. Right. So some of them work better than others include. Maybe they have only one, two years working there, but they they are more productive if we compare it with others that they maybe they have 20 years there. So uh yes, it's good. Uh recognize they mm -hmm. have a lot of time there. But it's not enough. Just maybe give some uh, bonus or I don't know what. Uh, just because they have a long time there. Because right. maybe they have a long time there, but they only do in, in the job enough. Just don't be fired. But <laughs> maybe once they have maybe one year there and, and he or she proved their back doing something or or try to doing better the job mm -hmm. so it, I, it's not effective for me to be honest okay do you agree with carlos teacher yeah in my company they only recognize chief of service every five years because it is a part of the human result policies and they evaluate the personal. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. All right, very good. So let's uh, take a look at this conversation. Um, just give me a moment. Sorry guys, I, I'm telling you my computer, I don't know, it's very slow today. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stop sharing. Maybe it's gonna be better that way. Hmm. This is second guys. Okay. Um I think this should be okay. All right, please tell me if you guys can see my screen. And please just bear in mind that the computer's slow right now. 
Yes, and yeah. I'm able to see. Okay, perfect. So we have a conversation between Mark and Jillian. So please listen and repeat after me. My employees are not as motivated as I would like. My employees are not so as motivated as like. as like. Although the company invested a lot. Although the company invests a lot. Although the company invested a lot. Can everybody repeat that after me? Because I only hear like two or three people. In motivational development. In motivational, In motivational development. development. In motivational development. In con employees continue to lack enthusiasm. Employees, employees continue, continue to, to lack enthusiasm. 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 Good. I know what you mean. 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 You see? You see? You see? There are some things. There are some there things. Are some, some things. things. That could improve here. That could improve, could here. improve here. here. At the company. At the company. At the company. At the company. In regards to recognition programs. In regards to recognition programs. programs. Recognition. 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 Good. While rewarding ex sorry, while rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all right. While rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all right. All right. right. Bonuses. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Rewarding them with longer paid vacations. Rewarding, Rewarding them with longer paid vacations. Paid vacations. Vacation. Vacation. Mm -hmm. Could improve their performance. Could improve, Could improve their, their performance. 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 I guess you are right. I, I guess, guess you, are right. Right. you are right. I believe we may need something more intrinsic. I believe, I believe we need something more, more intrinsic. 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 Even though motivating our employees even though, though motivating employees through the employee of the month award through the employee of the month award, award, award worked for a couple of months worked for, worked for, for a couple, couple of months month. motivating through peer to peer stories. Of success. Of success. Up to there. Just of success. Of success. Suc success. Success. Good. There you go. Success. Success. Good. May have a more meaningful impact. May have, have, a, may more have a more meaningful impact. 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 Mm -hmm. hmm. 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 Although peer-to-peer -peer recognition sounds although peer-to-peer -peer -peer recognition, recognition sounds like a good plan. Like a good plan. Implementing it along the mission. Implementing it along the mission. Along the mission. And goals of the company. And goals of the company. Would be a greater improvement. 
I would like to see. I would like, I would like, to, like see. to see. Employees being rewarded. Employees being rewarded. 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 On the basis of teamwork. On the basis, basis of, of teamwork. teamwork. Notice this is, this is basis, not basics. Basics, no, basis. 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 Good. Basis. And innovation goals. And innovation, innovation goals. goals. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. All right. Um, as usual, I want to know if there are questions about the vocabulary. So please. Tell me if, uh, oh, better said, write in the chat any words that you're not sure about. The meaning. Not the pronunciation, but the meaning. Is that it? All right, guys, I'm trying to find the word mean, meaning, meaningful. On oh. the cup. Yeah, got it. Thank you. Anything else? No, that's it. No. Nothing else? Okay. Oh, okay, so. I'm going to, like they say in Spanish, eh, um, oh my goodness, how did it, I forgot the saying. Uh, se me ha ido el tumor completo. ¿Cómo es el dicho? Eh, Oh my goodness, I'm I'm blanking out. Um como como va el dicho que dices acerca de, de pegarle de un eh 
como con un solo tiro. I have the idea in my head, but I can't remember it. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it. Um, de unas, uh -huh, like, well, anyways, it's like, basically what we say is like to, to hit two birds with one stone. That's the idea in English. To hit two birds with one stone. Yeah. So basically, um, you throw one stone and you cover many birds. Right. So in this case, I'm going to with one, one explanation, I'm going to cover three things. OK, so I'm going to cover these three ones right here. I'm going to cover although, while, and even though. Basically, these are words. Um, it's it's uh, they are words that show what we call concession, and what concession is is um, showing a contrast with the main idea. Okay, so. In this case, in the first sentence, um, yeah, so in the first sentence, we have the main ideas employees continue to lack enthusiasm. Right? So, um, we're going to contrast this. So yes, employees continue to lack enthusiasm, but in contrast to that, the company invests a, a lot of a lot in motivational development. Okay? So it's showing that I'm contrasting this main idea with this. Does that make sense? Does that make sense or no? Hey guys, please tell me, does that make sense? Mm, not sure, teacher. <laughs> okay, so we're contrasting. Do you understand the word contrast? Yes. Yes? Everybody understands the word contrast? Like in Spanish. Do you understand the word contrast? Contrastar. Contrastar. Right. So we are so we are showing concession. And what concession is is contrasting an idea with the main idea. So the main idea is employees continue to lack enthusiasm. But we are contrasting that with the fact that the company invested a lot of a lot in motivational development. So, in other words, if a company invests a lot on motivational development, we expect the employees to be enthusiastic, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. they're not. There's a contrast there. Yeah, does that make sense? So how do we how would we say that in Spanish? A pesar de. A pesar. A pesar de. Um. Aunque. Yeah, it's more like aunque. Aunque. Yeah. Okay. Um. Or, yeah, aunque a pesar de. Eh, a pesar de is fine too. Okay? So we are contrasting. We are, basically, we are showing an idea that is opposite to what you expect. That's a concession. So I expect something and something different happens. 
Okay, that's a concession. All right, sounds good, guys? Yes. Any yes, questions? the concession is the same construct, the, 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 the meaning, yes? It's contrast a, is the same concession. It, yes. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a it's an unexpected contrast. Okay. Okay, it's it's a contrast that is opposite to what I expect. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So although and while and even though have the same idea, it's like it's these are connectors that show a concession. Okay. So how would you say this in Spanish? Although the company invested a lot in motivational development, employees continue to lack enthusiasm. How would you say that in Spanish? A pesar de que la compañía invirtió mucho en, mejora, en mejoramiento motivacional, los empleados continúan con una falta de entusiasmo. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. Yeah, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Any other questions? Even though. Okay, so while is the same idea. We are contrasting. What would be while in Spanish? Mientras. Mientras. Okay. Mientras tanto. Or, eh, it's more like, me, yes, but it, it can be mientras tanto, pero mientras tanto es más como, eh, it's showing time. Right? For example, it's like saying, uh, mientras tanto, well, oh, for example, um, yo voy a ir a, Yo voy a ir a conseguir parqueo. Mientras tanto, uh, tú te puedes bajar del carro y, y, y nos apartar asientos. Right? So, that would be like in the, in the meantime. Right? It would be like, well, that's like in that case. But here, we're not, we're not, we're not, that's not talking about time. You're talking about contrast. So this would be more like mientras que. Okay. So that's showing a contrast. So how do you say that in Spanish? Well, rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all right. Rewarding them with longer paid vacation could improve their import performance. How would you say that? How would you say that? While rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all right. Mm -hmm. Mientras que los empleados se premian con un extra bono. So, mientras que... Remember, in this case, rewarding. ¿Se acuerdan rewarding. que? Rewarding. Yeah. Rewarding is a gerund. So, mientras que... La premiación. La premiación. El premio. Ajá. El premiar. El premiar. Ajá. A los empleados con extra... Bono. Good. El premiar los, ex, los empleados con ex, un bonus extra. Okay. Un bonus Está extra. bien. Está bien. Rewarding them with longer paid vacation could improve their performances. El premiar. El premiar los a ellos con. Carlos. Ajá, el premiar los con. Las vacaciones pagadas podría mejorar. La eficiencia, su eficiencia o su rendimiento. Yeah. Su rendimiento. Exactly. Uh -huh. um, so, el premiarlos con unas vacaciones uh, pagadas más largas podría eh, mejorar su rendimiento. Good. 
Next. Even though, even though, what is even though in Spanish? It's not the same also. <laughs> that Similar. No. Yeah, it's, it's more similar. like, yeah, it's like aunque. Aunque. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so even though motivating your employees through the employee, employee of the month award worked for a couple of months, how would you say that? Mientras que motivar a nuestros empleados. Mm -hmm. A través de. A través de. El empleado del mes. Ajá. El, ajá, el premio. La premiación al, del pe, el premio. La premiación del. Uh, al empleado del mes. Funcionó. Funcionó un par de semanas. Ah, por, ajá, funcionó por un par de meses. Meses, perdón. Uh -huh. Motivating through a peer-to-peer uh, -peer story. Motivarlos. O oh, el motivarlos. Eh, no sé qué es per to per. Mm, okay, good. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this. But we understand even though now, right? So a couple means two, right? Okay, so when it says a couple of months, it means two months. Not the message. Uh-huh, miss them. Uh -huh. Yeah, a couple of months means uh, un par de meses. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, peer, what is peer? Let's talk about just the word peer. Por. P -E -R. Uh, what? P -E -R. Yeah, P E E P E E R. Uh, mm. What does that mean? No, no, no. Equal. Huh? Yes. Equal. Um. Uh, not exactly. Okay, so peer is somebody that is at your same level. Um, so like in this case, if we're talking about like me, your coworkers that are your same level. Okay. Mm -hmm. So not not your not your manager, not your boss who is above you. It has to be people that are at your same level. Whatever your level is, that would be peer to, uh, that would be a peer. Does that make sense? So it's it's a it's a coworker that is at your same level. Okay? So peer to peer stories, it means that we are going to be um, sharing, um, sharing from one peer to another peer. Okay, it means like, uh, like stories that will support one another, support your same coworker. Does that make sense? Yes. In Spanish, how do what how do you say peer to peer? Um, it'd be like un apoyo, um, uh, de compañero, um, uh -huh, or apoyo entre compañeros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Meaningful. Meaningful means that it gives the person a meaning, that it's something important, significant for them. Okay. Greater means like bigger, uh, better. Okay. An improvement is something that it gets better. 
like an improvement is, um, it's the noun of something that is better. Okay, so better is an is the ver the adjective, and uh, improvement is would be like the noun, right? So something that has become better, and that's it. Okay, all right, guys, we're going to stop there today because we've run out of time. I'm just going to quickly take our attendance. Um. So Ana Lo Lorena Lobato. Present teacher. Excellent. Eh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Um, Carlos eh, Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Okay. Um, Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Um, Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. So Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Eh, Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Thank you. Emerson, Ul sorry, eh, Ulises Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present miss. Thank you. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Jose Carlos. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Jose Maratilio Serrano. Presente. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present, miss. Thank you. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Presentísimo. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraz Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Os Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Wonderful. Can we see your face? Ah, there it is. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Um, Ricardo Ernesto Perez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Vigail Boniacano. Um, Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy, uh, you can see after class um, a little uh, for our one-on-one -on -one session, okay? Oh, no, no. Sorry, sorry. No, no, Wendy. It's not you. It's Sigfrido. Sorry. Sigfrido le toca hoy. Sorry, Wendy. Tomorrow is your turn. Um. Okay. Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez Torres. Irma Evelyn. Uh, Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. And Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterosa. Okay. All right, guys, that's it for today. And I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful night. See you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See, 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 see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Um...
Hello, guys. Rosman, questions? Carlos, Ernesto, Wendy, questions? No, teacher, es que no me puedo salir. Ok, bye. Uh, bueno, la voy a poner en, en el waiting room. Mientras, mientras tanto. Carlos Ernesto. Ok. All right, Sifrido. Hello. Sure. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Good, <laughs> good. Excellent. Okay, so how are you doing with the platform? Mm, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah? Okay, let me see. Oh, you're finished. If I'm not wrong, yes. Yeah, good <laughs> for you. I finished today. Yeah, yeah, I just realized that right now. Okay, good, good. So, uh, yeah, and you've gone in a very good grade. <laughs> so... All right, so then, so. yeah, yeah. No, you, 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 you've mastered it. Good. All right. Is there anything that you want to ask me about? Anything I can help you with? Um, nope, not a lot. Probably I have um uh, some doubts about one topic, but it's for the unit four. So, what topic I is that? Is is the uh, one we are seeing like a thug and this kind of words? Which words? It's like, let me check the second, let me check the material. And it's a very simple unit four after manage motivation. Unit. This it's is from unit example. section four. Yep, for example, the one I seen today, the while of the even though. So uh, this is pretty confusing. I think <laughs> we need the class as well. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't finished um talking about that topic, so we will see a little bit more. So okay. your question is like the difference between them or or what um case of use so in which cases requires you use while and i'll talk to um, not a lot clear before me okay so while is used like uh it's it's like saying um Um, it's it's showing time, but in contrast. So probably it's confusing for me because I just said while with the mientras. Right. Yeah, and it is. You're doing that. Or... Yeah. So it's it's a it's what we call a subordinate. Um, but there are subordinates of time, and there's. Well, there are many types of subordinates, but there are subordinates of time and subordinates of of um, contrast, right, or concession. So in this yeah. one, we are looking at while as a con as a subordinate of concession. So, like I said, if you're talking about time, it would just be like mientras. Whereas, where if you're using a concession, it would be more mientras que. Like, for example, um, eh, yo soy una terrible cocinera, mientras que mi mamá eh, cocina muy rico. So I'm showing a concession. So it's a it's a contrast. Does that make sense, Sifrida? Mm, yeah, it makes sense. 
It makes sense. I basically I associating only with time. Yeah, yeah. So so like, but think of it in that sense. Like, think of it in Spanish. Yo soy una terrible cocinera mientras que mi mamá eh, cocina todo muy rico. So estoy es, estoy contrastando estas dos ideas. El hecho que yo cocino muy mal y el hecho que mi mamá sí cocina bien. Yeah, so we're not we're not we're not talking about time. In that case, we're not talking about time. We're we're where we are contrasting the two ideas. We expect we expect that if my mom um we expect that if my mom is a good cook, she probably I'm probably gonna be a good cook too. Right, because probably she taught me, but in this case she didn't teach me. Right? So or or simply me, I didn't learn. So I'm going to be a bad cook and she's gonna be a good cook. So there are two opposite ideas. Think of it like that. Think of it opposite ideas. Okay. Or, uh, yeah, um, for example, I, uh, I studied very hard for this test and got a bad grade, while you didn't study anything and got an A. Okay, okay, for example. So I'm, I'm contrasting. I'm contrasting the fact that I studied very hard and I didn't get a good grade. And you expect, if you're, if you're expecting, sorry, if, if I'm studying, I am expecting to get a good grade. And then I'm contrasting that with the fact that you did just the opposite of me. You didn't study, but you got a, a good grade. So they are opposite ideas. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Does that make sense, sir? Yeah, it makes sense. It yeah. Makes sense, sir. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, I, I mean, like I, I, I like, um, like I've been telling you in the past, you need to unlearn certain things. Sometimes that's the only way we can learn something new is by unlearning something before. So in this case, you have to unlearn the fact that while is only used for time. No, while is also used to contrast ideas. Contrasting. Yeah. Contrasting. Slide. Comparison. Yeah, we're comparing. We're comparing two situations that are opposite to each other. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got yeah. It. <laughs> I need to practice this. Yeah, of course. And the like, like I like I said before, I I haven't started. Like I better said, I have I've just started. Um, we, ha we haven't finished this topic yet, so we will get more opportunity to, to, to practice later. Okay? okay? That's great. All right, perfect. Any other questions that you have? Mm, not really. No? I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. Okay, perfect. In that case, I will see you tomorrow okay, okay. all right take care all right bye-bye